Hey everybody, uh, so this is a new series of videos we're hoping to do pretty regularly where uh, once a month we're going to tell you uh, the new pickups, the new game pickups that we have, and also potentially what we've backed on Kickstarter, uh, because I know people love to know like what the new hotness is, and not that right. we're necessarily tastemakers, but um, you know. <laughs> One day. There's stuff we're, we are interested in, and like we want to cover every game that we own on this channel, but because it's such a labor-intensive production, uh, we're just going to do a quick little, hey, this is what I got this month. Yeah, um, also like lately we've been covering a lot of games that we've backed on Kickstarter, which can be kind of frustrating, I think, for some people who are watching, because you didn't back the Kickstarter, so you don't know when it's going to be in stores. So maybe when we say, like, hey, this is what we backed on Kickstarter this month, then... Yeah, some of them are going to still be active when we talk about it, so then you can actually go and do that yourself, so. Exactly. Yeah. So why don't you start, since you have a much larger pile. I know. You, you had a my meme wallet, month. <laughs> my wallet is hurting. Um, I just, it's, it's you can't I, have yourself. A I, I'm I have a problem. No, you, we both have a problem. Um, uh, so I think this month, the theme this month were like hot caffeinated beverages. Um, I'm going to start with 11Zs, uh, which I got this little, I backed on Kickstarter, being what I, said earlier. Um, 11 Z's. The card game about having the best tea spread, which how can we go wrong there? Um, and we we actually reviewed that for our channel. So Super cute. Love this one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Did you want to say anything about 11 Z's? I mean... Uh, did we check out the review on the channel. It's, yeah. It's cool. It's amazing. Uh, and then going on with the beverage theme, um, I got... Viva Java, the dice game. Um, it was also on Kickstarter. I didn't back it on Kickstarter. I got this at my uh, friendly local game store. Um, we also reviewed that one, so you can check that one out too. You should look for that on the channel as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then because I got the Viva Java, the coffee game, the dice game, I decided to go back and look for Viva Java, the coffee game, uh, which we can't really review on this channel because it's three to eight players. So, not really... But that's not going to stop us from talking about it. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, yeah. We haven't played it yet. We haven't played it yet, because it's we're two people and it needs yes. three people. But I'm excited to try it out. I would really... It looks very cool, and I've heard many things about this game, which is also a Kickstarter, so I'm excited to play it. Right. Uh, so, three beverage games so far, but then... Uh, can, can, I, can I go? Can oh, I go? Oh, yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not done, though, because I got... No, I know. Uh, we're going to be here a while. This is really large. <laughs> um, so I picked up uh, various numbers of uh, X-Wing ships this month. Um, this is a TIE Defender, which You only is... brought one? We could have like had like the fleet of them. Yeah, the I know, thing, right? But... Says the person who never plays it with me. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so I got, uh, I got a couple of these. I got two Z-95 Headhunters, which I've already unboxed. I got two TIE Phantoms which um, I have already unboxed, and then I got two Tide Defenders, one of which I unboxed and one of which is here. So mm. to me, a uh, Star Wars X-Wing game is just like insta-buy. Like, it comes out and I just buy it, and it's, it's not even a thought. It's not even like, do I need that? It's like, yes, I need that. Like, I, if your employer could pay you in X-Wing miniatures... Nope, would you... I would take the money, but I would spend most <laughs> of right. it on X-Wing miniatures. Fair enough. Yeah, so that's, uh, that, was, that was my first sort of uh, splurge for the much. And then I was like, I'm going to behave. I'm going to behave this month. Um, this is very rare that she has more games than me, but, um, yeah. the next thing I bought this month is, uh, Red Winter, mm. which is a GMT Hex Encounter war game. Uh, I would say probably, uh, here, you hold this. Uh, I would say it's, it's, uh, medium complexity. Um, what originally drew me to it was there's a couple of YouTube channels that really highly recommended it. Uh, Fushigi TV, which you should go check out. She is a, another... A Seattle-based uh, board game channel, and she has playthroughs of war games, and I originally saw it there, and I also saw it on Callisto 79s channel, who's also, she's, I believe, lives in Germany or Ireland, and she also... <laughs> one of them, one Germany. Of, well, she's German, but I think she may live in Ireland. But anyways, well, she, she also... She a cat, too, that, she, like, appears in her videos. Right? Yeah, exactly. I love that. Uh, she did some videos on this game, which also got me interested, and it just sounded really cool, and uh, I managed to find a copy online, because it's uh, out of print at GMT right now, oh, and nice. it's fantastic. This game is utterly fantastic. Why do we keep recommending games that people can't get anywhere? You can still get this. Oh, okay. You can still get this. You got it, so. If you like Hex Encounter games, um, you can still get this. You played this with me today, actually, yeah, for the first amazing. time. Yeah, Yeah, um, you liked it? It's really good. Yeah, so I was pleasantly surprised. I'm always pleasantly surprised by these war games or whatever. I'm just like, theme, like, I don't care, but... 
Uh, so Red, start listening to him. Red Winter, really cool. The map is just amazing. Um, so, anyways, that's what drew me to it. And then um, I'll finish this off here with a game that I have not played yet, and that is King Philip's War, which is another war game. But um, King Philip's War is a point-to-point -point war game that is not card-driven. It is dice-driven, uh, oh, which yeah. is kind of cool. Um, we haven't played this one yet. We have not played this one yet. Um, I've been wanting to get into Red Winter. Um, but I'm really excited for it. It's about the uh, 16, the, the conflict between the Native Americans and the English colonists that lived in Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, mm -hmm. uh, in the 1670s. Um, and there was a war, basically, between the Native Americans led by King Philip, whose, whose Native American name was Metacomet, and uh, the colonists, basically, who were, you know, they were fighting over land and stuff like that. It's a conflict that I don't know much about, mm -hmm. and a conflict that I really want to learn more about that sounded really interesting, because I'm going through a phase where I'm really liking uh, war games that are set in the 16th and 16 and 1700s, so I thought it'd be cool. Um, so, it's from Multiman Publishing, so yeah. that was my haul. It's relatively small. Next month, I am going to have such a huge pile of games. I know. I think I might have to temper it down a little, because I just got so many this, this month. Um, especially when we get to the Kickstarter games that we back this month. That's another one. So, my wallet hurting. Uh, one game I picked up that I loved when I played it a game night with friends. Um, that's been out for a while, I think. It's been out for a long time, but... Um, Smash Up! I haven't even opened it yet, but I've played it a bunch, and I needed to own it, and it was on sale at one of my local game stores, so... It's really fun. I had to pick that one up. There's, like, you can have, like, dinosaurs with lasers on them. I think that's all. Ninja I Robots? That was when I when yeah. we played and I won. I won with Ninja Robots. Uh, there's Alien Pirates, I think. Um, a lot of cool, a lot of cool uh, expansions fun. as well. It's fun, it's funny, quick, love it. it reminds me of Blood Bowl Team Manager, which is another game that we're going to yeah. cover on this channel. yeah. Maybe we'll this. do maybe we'll do Smash Up too. Yeah, love well, it. At some point we will definitely. Yeah, uh, and then the last one I got which is like pile, piles of board games. It's like <laughs> the cup it overflows. Uh, amazing, <laughs> literally because I got tea and coffee games. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. Uh, you could say that we are euphoric about the number of games that we got this month. Um, Euphoria. I actually picked this up only because I backed the. Um, treasure chest on Kickstarter that Stonemaier Games is doing, which is actually just like realistic tokens, so it's not really a board game, but um, the tokens, the uh, one of the stretch goal was, goals was to get these like wooden stars, you could add those on to Euphoria, and I always wanted to try Euphoria because I love Viticulture, another beverage game, it all comes full circle. Um, but so because I backed that treasure chest and I was getting um, components that worked really well with Euphoria, I decided I should probably try Euphoria, and we tried this one. We've, we've played it several times actually. We've played it two players yeah. a couple of times. We played it uh, with four. Yeah, fantastic game. It's really fun. Really, fun. I, d I did not expect to like it given some of the videos and previews I saw of it, and it's it's quite quite it's fun. It's not as complex as I think some people make it out to be. Um, I think there's just a lot of rules to explain, but it's like it's kind of like Race for the Galaxy, I think, in the way where you like explain the rules, you get it, and then once you play it, once you're good. Uh, at some point, we will do this for the channel, so not to get too ahead of ourselves, but we're going to play it a couple more yeah. times, I think, before we review it. So Yeah, so that was the last like physical thing that I got. Um, do you want to talk about Kickstarters that you backed? Just yes. Like? Um, so, Kickstarter. What did I back on Kickstarter? I backed Dead Man's Draw. Technically, that was August, but I'm going to mention it here. The yeah. card game version of the um, iOS game. I also backed Dead Man's Draw. Yes. And, uh, Full disclosure... You work with Stardock. I work with Stardock. Um, so I actually backed the original Dead Man's Draw when it was on... Kickstarter uh, didn't get funded, but I'm really glad that I think it's Mayfair Games is doing it. Um, Mayday. Mayday Games. Mayday sorry. Games. Yeah. Mayday Games. Um, so definitely plan to back that one, and it's still open. So check it out. Yes. Um, and I, what did I back? I'm trying to think what I backed. Um, I backed Harbor from Tasty Minstrel Game, mm -hmm. Tasty Minstrel Games, which uh, looks like a fun little resource management Euro game with like just fantastic art. That one closed, so I don't think you can get in on it anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, for some reason, can't remember anything else that I backed. So you go ahead with yours, and I'm going to think really hard about anything else that <laughs> okay. I backed. Uh, so Dead Man's Draw. Um, I'm trying to remember. The Treasure Chest. The Treasure Chest from Stonemaier Games with the realistic components. It's just basically like add-on resource things, like bricks and gold yeah, and stuff like, like that for their yeah, games. Yeah, which, I mean, I love components, and anytime I can upgrade them, like, I'm down. And it was cheap for, like, what you get with it. And, like, with every, it was really great. Um, love Stonemaier. So I backed that one. I think that one's closed. Um, I also backed, um, since I've been playing the Dice Hate Me game stuff, I backed their... This is actually technically in August, but compounded Geiger expansion, which I don't have compounded, but 
with uh, this is so smart. One of the tiers for the for compounded Geiger edition is that you get compounded plus the Kickstarter um, expansion, which I think they may have already passed their goal. I'm not even sure, but um, that one's definitely open because it just started. So would totally want to get behind that one. Um, I, it's a game about chemistry, which I hated chemistry in high school. I still hate chemistry. But I watched a few videos on it, um, and apparently you don't need to really know much about chemistry to play it. So I was like, I'm in. Count me in. It's Dice Hate Me Games. Let's do this. You're all about the Dice Hate Me Games. I love them. Um, I think they're one of my new favorite publishers. Them and Stonemaier. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm squarely in the Stonemaier and Dice Hate Me Games fan club. Um, I just remembered what I backed. I backed the Twilight Struggle Digital Edition. Oh, yeah. Uh, which I'm really excited oh, for. Oh, man, that would be so epic. As you know, we really like Twilight Struggle. You should go yeah. watch the video if you haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. um, and I also backed a card game that I think looks so amazing. It's called Ordis Regni. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't fund. However. Uh, however, the a guy running it uh, allowed people who backed to still purchase the game because it was the, the Kickstarter was a way to raise money for the digital version, and he had already mm -hmm. produced the main version. So mm -hmm. I'm still going to get it. We are going to cover it on this channel. It, it looks just gorgeous. It's a game about sort of the Anglo-Saxon period in the Middle Ages of England, and it's a card game that kind of abstracts Middle Ages Anglo-Saxon lifestyle that it, you can play two to four, excuse me, uh, two to six players. So um, it's it just gorgeous. I'm really looking forward to it. All the cards, there's no text on the cards. All the cards mm -hmm. are a single piece of art, mm -hmm. and you build your deck before you construct a deck before you play of different kinds of cards, and then they all have different rules and abilities they can do, mm -hmm. and it just looks just like yeah. so wonderful. So yeah, Ordis Regni, that's what I'm most excited for, I think. Yeah, um, the one I'm most excited for, and uh, I say best for last, really, is uh, Wizard Dodgeball, which sounds exactly like you think it plays, um, or plays exactly like it sounds. I totally screwed that up. Uh, Wizard Dodgeball, it's basically dodgeball, but your team is made of wizards, and you can use spells to hit other players. Um, I played the prototype from Mind the Gap Studios. They're actually based here in Seattle. Um, it was amazing. It's, like, such, like, a simple concept to understand. I love it when games, like, the title of it just, like, tells you what it is. It literally is dodgeball with wizards. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, really great team over there, so... Definitely back that one. That one is up on Kickstarter now. I think it just started. So, um, And there's actually an option for you to rename one of the wizards in one of the levels, which I think is hilarious. Like, you could just be, like, I could name one, like, Elizabeth, and I can have, like... It's not a very wizardly name. No, no. I'll think about it. Okay. Maybe I'll name it after my dog. <laughs> well, they yeah. might have licensing issues. Probably, because your dog is named after Lord of the Rings character. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a... I, yeah, so I backed a ton of games on Kickstarter. I got a ton of games, like, to add to my collection. You... I got very few games, but they're all games that will last me for months because they're just so involved and complex, so... Um, I, I really was... like the difference between our, yeah, our stacks. Yeah, it really shows it kind of, like, our <laughs> preferences yeah. in games. It's like, you're all about the Euros and colorful and, and yeah. interesting stuff, and I'm all about, like, yeah, give me World Historical War II. Give, give me 16th century <laughs> warfare. Uh, so, so yeah, so that was our July, uh, July haul, and so... Yeah, it was quite the haul. Quite the haul. Well, we're gonna hope to do this once a month, so the next one you'll see from us will be at the end of August for our August haul, and for me, yeah. that's gonna be just insane. Well, that'll be after PAX Prime. Yeah, it'll be right around, so, probably, right before PAX, probably, I think. Or, right, yeah, right after PAX, right I think we'll put PAX, it up, so... so hopefully we'll have some cool stuff oh, to share. Oh, boy. Yeah, All it's right. gonna be fun. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of this uh, video, if you yeah. want to see more videos like this, and we'll continue to do them, so... Yeah, thanks so much.